In this step, we're going to start to add cascading style sheets to change the fonts and colors on the page. I have started with the basic resume we've created, and I have put in my tags into the heading. I did go back and add the meta caraset tag in the HTML language equals English to the previous one that you worked on, and you can go ahead and do that. Inside the head section, I also have my styles. This is not lined up quite as neatly as I'd like, so I'm going to go ahead and fix that right now. So as I do this, what I'm typically doing, and Dreamweaver's default options are a little bit different than mine, I like to have my curly brackets line up. You'll notice that my text in here is grayed out. That's because currently this is the opening part of a comment in CSS, and this is closing part of a comment in CSS, which is different than it would be in HTML. So to create a style, and this is an internal, not an external style sheet, you'll be learning the external ones later, you have to have in the head section, you want to include style type equals, in quotes, text slash CSS, and then close your bracket. And then for each tag that we're redefining, I'm including here I'm changing the body tag. So I'm going to just move this comment so it starts here. I've changed to add a font, font family. And a font family has a list of fonts that it can put in. And Dreamweaver is really helpful about this. A lot of this is automated, even when you're hand coding. You can just pick which one you want. I'm choosing a, Han, a sans serif font. It makes it really obvious that it's changed. Make sure you put in your semicolon. If you don't end with that, it won't apply. To test and see how it's working, I just click over here. And that just changed to a sans serif font. So next thing I'm going to do is change my font size to 18 pixels. And then I'm going to change the color. I'm actually defining the color as black. This doesn't actually do anything because it's currently black. But you could have some fun with this. And again, Dreamweaver makes it really easy. So you can just go pick color and pick anything. I recommend something kind of on the dark side. And then you can pick a background color. This one I just picked something sort of light, but you'd pick color the same way where you can go and just grab it from the list, and I picked a sort of pale yellow. The next thing I'm going to modify is my HR. That's my horizontal rule. That's right here. And you can do some basic formatting with it. Typically it's going to center by default, and usually the only thing I change on the horizontal rule is the width, but you can actually change the um, height and the color, and I'm just not going to get into that right now. So I'm going to put in a width, and I'm going to put it in at 60%. And this is only going to so sort of show up until I actually test this. It looks kind of funky here, but if I were to preview it in Firefox, it, turn it centers that. This isn't, and we're going to fix that in a minute. I want to center the Mary's Epic resume over the line here. So let's go back and fix that. All right, so I've also got, this is H1, so we're going to, now you don't have to tab in your styles. I do this just because of years of C++ type programming, where I want my brackets to align. But I can redefine these. I can make a text line center. I can add a color, and color is always your font color. So I can pick a brighter color, make sure to put in your semicolon, click over to check. I could make this a different font, and you could pick, um, if I want multiple, I should pick a font family. And we'll make this a serif one. And you'll notice that when it puts in a font that has spaces in it, it has to go into quotes. Changes the look of it. I don't actually like it, but I'm just showing you that you can change it. And we could make the size different. Font size. And we'll say it's um, 24px. I'm not sure what it is by standard. That makes it smaller. Let's make it 34. And I always check these as I'm doing them. So you could keep going with that if you wanted. You could do a font decoration and underline it. 
I generally don't like underlines unless something's a link. Um, then I have an unordered list, which is my bulleted list right here. And you can actually change those to be pictures or I'm just changing the list style type here square because I don't have a small picture bullet that I want to put in place. If I click over here, it turns to square. But if I had wanted to do um, pictures, I could have done that if you had a small image you wanted to have in there. You could do list style image and then select your image. Not going to do that. So this is the basics. You also need to know how to work with a class and an ID. So I'm going to add a, an ID to the paragraph Mary is the most. Actually, I'm going to add an ID to the quote. And I'm just going to put in ID equals my quote. I'll do that all lowercase. And right now it is putting in that Mary is the most interesting programmer in the world and we have other things emphasizing that, but let's go play with the Mary is the most interesting programmer in the world by adding a class. Now for a class, and forgive me, I sometimes mess this up because I'm dyslexic, but it should be my quote, and I believe it's a dot in front of it. Let's just check this really quick. Let's do font size, and let's make it 30 px. Let's see if that works. If, it's, if it didn't, then I reverse things. Nope. So that means that the ID needs to be a hash mark. And I do that wrong almost every time I do it. Just have to go. There we go. So an ID is a hash where a class is a dot in front of it. So I can make changes to this. I can do font decoration. if I've got that right. Sometimes in some of these things you have to check because um, Dreamweaver, the version I'm using, is two years old, so there's things that it doesn't recognize. So whenever I'm in doubt, I go to the W3Schools CSS, and we'll go to CSS and CSS fonts. And you have different things in here that you can do font, family, font styles. And it is font, we'll do font, let's put a font style. There should be a font decoration. Oh, it's Font weight, font size, font family. I guess that one's not in here. It should be a CSS reference. Let's take a quick look. Font. That's got lots. Font family, font styles, font, font variant, font weight, font size, font stretch, good column stores. Okay, so I, I did it wrong. So well, let's look at font style, and I have the options of normal, italic, and oblique. Let's go back and put that in. Sometimes I'm right and sometimes Dreamweaver's right, so it doesn't like that. So font style, and that should be oblique. Let's try that. Okay, and I think what I messed up on here is that it wasn't font style. I think it was just It was text decoration. That was my issue. And so I can pick any one of these blink, inherit. I don't really like blink. So you have some various things. I'm going to overline it. I don't really like it. I'm just trying to show you that you can. And that's not recognized here. So let's see some of this stuff you actually have to preview in the browser to have it take effect. It doesn't mean it didn't work, it just means that you have to look at it in a browser and see it's working just fine here. So some of the stuff um, does not preview correctly 
in Dreamweaver. Just be aware of that. Okay, so let's put in a class. Now the difference between an ID and a class is an ID uniquely references one specific part on the page. So we can add a class and we're going to have a class equals titles and we'll do that for here class equals titles. Now if I was going to do this for all the H4s it would make more sense to just redefine the H4s um, but let's say I don't want to do it for all of them. So we're going to put in a title section dot titles and that does have the dot in front of it instead of the hash mark. So this is for I'm putting a comment ID and class. So you know which is which. ID, hash, class, title. So titles, I'm just going to do a color change for these and we'll just pick something random. Bingo. And you can see these are now green. So those are some just really simple formatting things that you can do with CSS and this is an on-page CSS. And I want you to go through and play with it. And again, if you want to try and do something I haven't shown you, go out to the W3C site and I'll link that inside of Canvas so you can go look at some of the things that are available. Just play with it. I want you to make it different. You're going to save this as, and I'm in my O2 folder. The first one was resume. And I'm going to save it as resume so we're going to end up with at least four different versions of this and make sure that you're doing a save as when you start changing them. So I'm going to go ahead and do a file, save as resume 3 because I'm about to go in and start working on the next lab where we're going to start to actually put in different segments and be able to do some page layout. So get this part done, hand it in, and then you can move on to the next one.